With electric vehicles gaining popularity by the day, the demand for crucial battery ingredients like cobalt has skyrocketed. This surge has sparked a quest among car and battery makers to find alternatives to the current top dogs, nickel, cobalt, aluminum, nickel cobalt manganese, and lithium ion phosphate batteries. We're on the hunt for something better, cheaper, lighter, and more efficient. These energy powerhouses are the preciest components of any electric vehicle, but fret not, for a breakthrough has arrived. Imagine a battery that packs a punch while being more cost-effective, lighter, and highly efficient. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, the world's two largest battery manufacturers, CATL and BULID, have joined forces to unveil this sodium battery marvel. This could very well be the turning point for electric vehicles as we know them. But here's the real question. What sets the sodium battery apart? When can we expect to see this sodium-powered revolution hit the streets? Well, join us as we dive headfirst into the realm of the Chinese sodium-ion battery. Sodium, like the popular kid in school, found all over the world as part of table salt, is easy to extract and doesn't require those tiresome mining processes like lithium does. Sodium ion batteries take advantage of this abundance by using cheaper raw materials, making them an exciting alternative for EV makers and all the battery enthusiasts out there. Sodium, being affordable, sells for a mere 1-3% to of the price of lithium. Sodium is chemically similar to lithium, giving it that extra edge in the battery game. Recent breakthroughs have transformed sodium ion batteries into real contenders. They can now be recharged daily for years, which means they're taking a swipe at one of lithium battery's main advantages. No more range anxiety. The energy capacity of sodium batteries has also skyrocketed, and guess who kicked off the research into sodium batteries back in the 1970s? Yup, the United States took the first step. But hold on to your seats because Japanese researchers made crucial advancements about a dozen years ago, pushing sodium batteries closer to stardom. Here's where our story takes an unexpected twist. Chinese companies have taken the lead in commercializing this technology, and they're not holding back. Out of the hopping 20 sodium battery factories, planned or already under construction worldwide, a staggering 16 of them are in China. In just two years, China is projected to hold nearly 95% of the world's sodium battery production capacity. Sodium ion batteries have a big advantage when it comes to recycling. They're easier to recycle and don't require those elusive rare earth elements that are associated with lithium. Plus, sodium batteries keep almost all of their charge even when temperatures plummet below freezing. Meanwhile, lithium batteries tend to lose their charge when the snowman pays a visit. Lithium and rare earth elements have been plagued by shortages and crazy price spikes. On the other hand, sodium hydroxide, a key component of sodium ion batteries, remains significantly cheaper. Lithium hydroxide has skyrocketed over 1,000% in just two years, while sodium hydroxide is still hanging around at a fraction of the cost. Sodium is clearly the budget-friendly choice here. But what about performance? We can't forget about that. Lithium-ion batteries are known for their high energy density and power, which is why they're the go-to choice for performance and long-range Tesla models. However, there's a catch. Lithium-ion batteries have a not-so-fun safety issue called thermal runaway. You might have heard stories of electric vehicles catching fire or even worse, exploding. Thankfully, sodium-ion batteries don't have this problem. Now, let's take a look at who's leading the race in sodium-ion battery development. It's no surprise that China is taking the lead. CATL and BLID, two Chinese companies, have been working hard to bring sodium ion batteries to the masses. CATL revealed that these batteries have an impressive energy density of 160 kilowatt hours per kilogram, slightly lower than another battery type called LFP. The evaluation of patents for sodium ion batteries shows China leading the pack, leaving Japan and the US in the dust. Chinese companies are even gearing up for mass production this year. They're not wasting any time. Speaking of Japan and the US, they're also in the race to find alternative batteries for their decarbonization efforts. They recognize the need for more sustainable options. However, they're currently playing catch up with China. According to Nikkei, the business publication as of December, there were a staggering 9,862 patents in force marking a mind-blowing 12-fold increase over the past decade. China has a hopping 5,486 patents, which account for more than 50% of the total. Japan used to hold the crown until 2015. 
Well, they're still in the game with 1,192 patents, followed by the US with 719, South Korea with 595, and France with 128. These batteries are true game changers. They're more cost-effective to manufacture, which means more affordable and accessible batteries for all of us car enthusiasts. These bad boys perform exceptionally well in low temperatures, making them perfect companions for those chilly winter drives. Chinese sobium ion batteries boast enhanced safety features, giving you peace of mind on the road. CATL, the genius behind these batteries, has even bigger plans up their sleeve. They're gearing up to unveil their upcoming sodium ion batteries, which will boast an energy density that exceeds a mind-boggling 200 watt-hours per kilogram. These cutting-edge batteries are slated to hit mass production by 2023. CATL's first-generation sodium ion cells are already impressively affordable, costing just $77 per kilowatt hour. But get this, the second generation, set to enter value production, will bring that jaw-dropping cost down even further to a mind-blowing $40 per kilowatt hour. Chinese battery executives spilled the beans in interviews, revealing that they've cracked the code when making sodium battery cells similar to lithium ones. In fact, they've developed a way to use both sodium cells and lithium cells in a single electric car's battery pack. You get the low cost and weather resistance of sodium cells, along with the extended range of lithium cells. Back in 2021, Experts were skeptical about the potential of sodium ion batteries. They thought these batteries were only good for specific applications like energy storage. Even the big shots at CATL, the Chinese battery manufacturer, were a bit on the fence. Some even suspected that CATL's sodium ion battery venture was just a clever strategy to pressure lithium suppliers into lowering their prices. But were they in for a surprise? Fast forward to 2022, and the landscape starts to shift dramatically. As the development of sodium ion batteries gains traction and lithium prices skyrocket, it became crystal clear that sodium ion batteries had the potential to be a serious contender in the electric vehicle game. And in November 2022, CATL dropped the bombshell. They officially confirmed that their sodium ion batteries were primed and ready to power the electric vehicles of the future. Not wanting to be left in the dust, BYD, another major player in the EV arena, jumped on the sodium ion bandwagon. They announced their plans to kick off mass production in 2023 and bring forth a compact electric hatchback running on sodium ion battery power. At the recent Shanghai Auto Show, CATL shook things up once again. They proudly proclaimed that their sodium ion batteries would find a new home in the Cherry iCar, which is set to hit the market by the end of this year. Likewise, BYD is going full steam ahead with their sodium ion batteries, entering mass production in the second half of the year starting with their majestic seagull. Speaking of the seagull, BYD gave it the grand stage treatment at the Shanghai Auto Show. This beauty comes in three different versions, each with a price tag ranging from $11,450 to $14,000. The current models sport good old LFP batteries, but the new versions will rock BYD's revolutionary blade batteries. These blade batteries have capacities. We're talking 30.08 kilowatt hours and 38.88 kilowatt hours. These new models would be powered by none other than sodium ion batteries themselves. These babies bring a bunch of advantages to the table, like improved safety and cost effectiveness. However, let's not forget their limitations. Energy density is a bit of an Achilles heel for sodium ion batteries. To match the energy capacity of lithium ion batteries, we need a few more sodium ion batteries in the mix.